Hi, George here. And today I want to talk to you about the AVC Labs Photo Enhancer AI. This is a really interesting photo program for enhancing photographs. And it has several distinct features over here. We have an upscaler, a denoiser, color calibration, background removal, and a colorizer. We look at the background removal right now, and you can see here, did a great job on taking this background out on a very difficult background removal job right there, very complicated and very messy background. It removed that just fine, no problems at all. Let's go over and take a quick look at the AVC Labs website. Here we go. Now, AVC Labs sponsored this video so I can show you what this program is all about. And it's a very interesting AI-powered tool to clean up and optimize your photographs. Now, it doesn't replace a photo editing tool like Adobe Photoshop, but it does handle a lot of the more difficult or tedious processes. Find it here at the AVC Labs under AI, and it's the Photo Enhancer right here. If we scroll down here, it gives you a bit more information about this, about what the program does. Upscaling low res images, remove noise and grain. See how that works. There we go. And they all work as advertised. It does a really great job. But I don't want to show you all of their kind of hand-picked images up here, which of course are going to be working perfectly. Instead, I want to show you how this works on actual images. And I have a set of standard images that I use for testing programs. So let's go back to the AVC Labs Photo Enhancer AI program. And let's try out some actual working images. First off, I'm just going to clean everything out here, remove all. There we go. You bring images in either by dragging and dropping them or by browsing to a folder and then bringing them in that way. You can bring in one or more images. You bring up a folder, we'll do the drag and drop. And all you do is just take an image, drag it over here, drop it in. It then loads that image right into the photo enhancer. Now at this point, we can zoom in or zoom out. Go to one to one size right here. I'm going to zoom it out so it fits our screen. If you want to, you can come in and crop your image. You can remove an image out of your set right here. If you bring in more than one image, you'll have a film strip down here showing you all the images in this current set. So to do the background removal, we just go over here. Choose background removal from the list right there. A couple of options in here. Remove background automatically. Let's check because, of course, that's what we're doing. And you can also bring in face refinement, which I recommend doing. It takes a little bit more effort on the face and does a really nice job at improving that. Now, down below, we have our output settings. You either can use the original size right here. Or you can also up this 200, 300, or 400%. Depending on your needs, just choose the image size you want right down here. You also can choose the image format. In here, you can preserve the source format. Or we can also change to PNG, JPEG, or a bitmap. Now, bitmap is going to be a lossless format. So if you want to keep the highest quality, I recommend going to bitmap on this. I always like to work in non-compressed image formats whenever possible. You can also come down here and save to a specific directory. This is just saving to the default directory that AVC Labs Photo Enhancer AI sets up for you. You can access that right over here. Now to see how it's going to look, you go up here to the preview button, click on preview, and it's then going to process this photo. There we go. Comes in at full size. I'm just going to back out now. That'll zoom back button. There we go. And then you can grab this bar in the middle and pull this back and forth and see the job. And there we go. There's our background removal. That easy, that fast to do. So it does a great job with that one. And then when you're ready to go ahead and save this, you either can save it if you're processing a whole series down here. Again, it processes them at the same settings. If you click on save all, if you want to do individual images at different settings and come in here and save a selected image at that setting and then remove that image. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on add and we'll bring in our next ones here. It'll be this one and I'll grab that one as well. Bring those in. So I'll select this image here and I only want to process this one image. There's our preview. Then I'll save that one image with the save button. Okay, that's been now saved. So now I can move on to these and do this in a different format. I'm just going to delete this one, click on the trash can right here, removes that image. Now in these, I'll be using the same setting on these. So in this case, we'll be doing a batch processing and using the save all function. Now in both of these, I want to remove noise. So we'll be using the AI denoiser. You can see the noise. I'll come in really close on this one airplane. This has a lot of noise up here. You can see it here around the propeller and over here around the cockpit, a lot of noise in there. And on the kids over here, same thing. There's a lot of noise in this photograph. So I'm just going to choose save all. We'll then process both of these with the same settings. Choose Save All, and it processes both of those images. Here we go. You can then open the output directory right here, and there are the images. Let's do a before and after comparison on the airplane. Here's the after. Let me just bring this one up. 
put that there. And here's the original, bring this one up and I'll zoom in a bit here as well. And pretty easy to see in here, the quality of the denoised version right here. You can look at the edges along the tail of the plane here on the cockpit in these two faces. And then here's the original, all this noise in there, all that has been removed with the denoiser. And I think this looks just great. Looks and close that. Let's now move on to the next one. I want to get rid of this stuff. So I'm just going to remove all, get those out of the way. So you can clean out your film strip very easily down there. Just do that. And let's bring in this image over here, a little bright image. This one has some color problems. As you can see, it's kind of odd in its coloration. There's a lot of green actually in here. You can really see it in the background and over in here. A lot of greenness, the flesh tone is not very good on that. So let's go ahead and run this one through with the color calibration. All right, do the same procedure. Make sure you're in the right area up here. Check your output settings. Click on that preview button. This then runs the process. And once that's finished, we can then save this one out. And there we go. Let's just back out of this a little bit here. And I'll grab this and bring it down here a little bit. So there's before, there's a lot of green in here. And now we have a good natural flesh tone right there. So it does a great job on coming in and really improving the overall color quality of your image. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll hit the save button. Let's now bring in another image. This time I'll grab this one here, drag this in, brings it right in and sets it up here in the film strip. So I'll work on just this with a different setting. And this one I want to just make this much larger. If I zoom in here like this and pull this over, there you go, real nice zoom in. And here's the quality of this image. There's a little bit of softening on the edges in here. You can see that. So normally if I was just going to enlarge this up, this would get a lot softer and it'd end up with an unusable image. This time though, we're going to come in and enlarge this by 400% and we'll let the ABC Labs Photo Enhancer handle that for us. And that's the AI Upscaler right here. And I'll leave everything else at the default settings. Let's go ahead, preview this and see how this works. The preview button is then going to apply that upscale. And see how we did, I'll just back out again right here. And let's pull this over to the face. And remember, this has been increased now to 400% of the original four times as large. Zoom in on our face, look at the face quality up here. There's the original, it has those soft edges. Here's the up -res version, this is four times larger, but we also have really sharp edges. So it's not only given us a larger image, but it's also come in and cleaned up our edges as well, making for a great upscale. Let's go back to fit on screen, there we go. And then we'll save, here's our save button. And okay, that's now been saved. Let's now remove all these things down here. Hit remove all, choose yes. And we'll bring in the final image over here. This is my black and white image. I use this one a lot for testing out colorization programs. There we go, just a real nice basic image, not much happening in here, but good clean photograph, good whites, good blacks. And for that, we'll go over here and come down to the AI colorizer. I'll leave the face refinement on, do everything else the same. And let's go ahead and preview this and see how this does. Now this is the one part of this that I think has some room for improvement. It'd be nice if I could adjust the quality of the color or adjust the color choices that are used. We can do a little bit of an adjustment in here, but not much. So I think that a few more options for the colorizer would be a nice additional feature. And here we go, just back out a little bit on this. And there we go, did a real nice job on the face in here, as you can see that. There we go. We had the face refinement, so the face also has been cleaned up and tightened up. Looks just wonderful in there. You can see that did a great job on both of those steps. The flesh tone looks fine. And I was mentioning about how it'd be nice if I have more controls. You can see some of the problems in here. It's not that much of a change on the jacket, really. It's got a little bit of color to it. Over here, this jacket has pretty good coloration, but I'd like to have it a lot richer. So it would take some adjustment or work in a different program to really clean this up. But around the faces, it did a great job, as you can see. Now you don't have to use that face enhancement. You can have this on or off, it's up to you. Now we do have a little bit of control over here, and that's on this button right there. This brings up model settings in here for the render factor, and you can bring that down or bring that up and kind of adjust the level in there. But that's the only adjustment we have available to us in here for the colorizer. Again, I'd like to have more options and the kind of colors that are selected or used. It still does a real nice job, especially if you just want to get a fast colorization. And considering that this is just part of the whole program, Upscaler, which is phenomenal. The denoiser is great if you're doing photo retouching. I love this. Color calibration worked very well and the background removal was really easy to use. So a great program here from ABC Labs, the Photo Enhancer AI. I highly recommend this. Okay, let's go back and take a look at the website one last time. In this right here, ABC Labs, and it's their Photo Enhancer AI, which you can find right here. There we go. And I'll put this link 
in the description to make it easy for you to get here. Okay, if you like this review, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.